Hello everybody, Jackson here. Today I'm showcasing my Honeywell dummy terminal. I don't really know what else to call it. It's really just a dummy terminal. I don't have it hooked up to anything, but I just wanted to showcase it because it's a really cool kind of unknown terminal. I don't think many people know about it, but in my opinion, it's one of the greatest looking terminals that I know of. It's got these really sharp lines all over it, which I really like. You know, some have these really curved rounded edges and they look cool, but I don't know. I really like this one, especially the white. It just really looks good in contrast with the black. So starting off with the keyboard, this is Honeywell Hall Effect switches. So, you know, it's a really nice keyboard. Just feels very good. Uh, this sticks down the local. It's supposed to. So does the caps lock as usual. But um, I'll take a key off. So there's the... Honeywell Hall Effect switch right there. So, pretty cool. I do like it, although the space bar is really, really loud. Like, in comparison, it's just kind of loud, but it's not that bad. Um, the terminal is in actually really good condition. I haven't cleaned it. It does need one. It does need a good cleaning. As you can see, there's some writing on it, but that'll all easily wash off. And the keyboard's pretty dirty too, but... If we go around back, you'll see we got some options for a test or normal mode right there. Some dip switches, and here is the model number right here. So it is the Honeywell BCRU211G001TI version. So I, they might have done a collaboration with Texas Instruments. I'm not really sure, but there's a really nice big Honeywell logo right there. And here's where you'd uh, hook it up to a mainframe or something. But what I do really like about this is the big power switch right here. It is really cool. And uh, this terminal is working. I haven't powered it up in a few days, so it does take a little while. But I'll flip the switch so you can see right here, and it does make a noise. So that's what it does when it starts up. I think I have it in test mode, but since it's not hooked up to anything, it doesn't really do anything. Um, but as you can see right there... It is powered on and the data set ready is red so I don't really know what that means I don't have it hooked up to anything as I said so it won't really do anything except go into the test mode but we'll see it here in a minute when it uh, powers up so yeah there we go now I can adjust the contrast here I'll brighten it up a little bit but this is all it really does I do need to fix the vertical hold as you can see it's kind of not a very straight line, but sometimes I can get it to type in here, sometimes not, but it's just, uh, it's not hooked up to anything, so what do you expect? But, uh, yeah, the caps lock key does have a light on it, as you can see. So that works. Sometimes it gets stuck. I don't know what local does. It's probably something when it's hooked up to something, but that's really it. Just wanted to showcase this cool terminal that I own. It's pretty obscure. There's nothing else online about it. Although you will see this terminal there. It's in a lot of like battleships. That's where it's seen the most. But other than that, it's pretty obscure. I really like it. Really nice keyboard. I do. I do really like the keyboard. It's one of my favorite parts. Although these are like double shot. Um, These keys, the lettering will not wear off. But like up here, you'll see where it's been pressed a lot from when it was in use. It is starting to fade, especially over here. This terminal was used in the CDC in Georgia, the Center of Disease Control. I don't really know anything else than that, but as you can see, it was used quite a bit from the wear and tear, but overall, really nice terminal. 